TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. It is negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit out here, which is negative 24 degrees Celsius. This is some seriously cold conditions. And when you're stuck out in traffic in the event of like an ice storm or a car accident, I'm curious what the difference is between gas and electricity in terms of consumption. Which one's gonna use more energy, the gas car or the electric car? Well, what we have today are two very similar cars, one gas, one electric. We're gonna bring them both out here into negative 24 degrees C weather, park them, turn the heater on to a comfortable 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and then let them sit for several hours to see what the energy consumption is. So I'm gonna set the scene for you, right? You just had your car parked inside. Now, of course, inside our barn is not currently heated, so it's also gonna be extremely cold. You get out your car, you start it up, you hit the road, and then you get stuck in a road closure or a traffic jam or a situation where you're just parked. Well, we're gonna run the heaters on both of these cars, these two Mini Coopers, and then we're gonna see which one uses more energy. So here are the criteria. This Mini has been plugged in overnight. It's up to 100%, and yesterday I fully topped off the gas Mini using our two-click method at a gas station just down the road, and for the final results, we'll calculate for that slight bit of gas it took to get here to the ranch in Berthoud, Colorado. So both of these cars are completely topped up. We're gonna start them up both at the same time, set climate control both to automatic 70 degrees, turn the heated seats on, pull them out and then park them. We'll see what happens in a few hours. All right, we're gonna start both cars at the same time. Alex, fired up. There we go. I got my auto on. I'm gonna put, this car is variable auto. We're just gonna put it in the middle there and both heated seats on. There we go. We've got auto, 70 degrees, both heated seats going. Let's go bring this outside. Hey Tommy, what does the hood scoop on your electric mini do? You know, Case, on the electric mini, the hood scoop, oh god, it's so cold up here. The hood scoop does not do much. And speaking of cold with wind chill, we're dipping into like the negative 20 degree territory. This is one of the coldest days recorded in Colorado in like 30 years. Now, of course, we pulled both these cars out. We're gonna leave this car idling like you would be stuck in a traffic jam. And you really would want to have our heaters on because over the course of many, many hours, at these temperatures, it could be potentially bad news for your health, you know, if you're not all bundled up like we are. Even if you are all bundled up like we are, it's not great. So we're gonna let both these cars sit here idling, temperature on, and then we'll come back in an hour and see what happens. Cars have been sitting here idling for about an hour and 10 minutes and the gas mini is still reading full here on the fuel tank indicator and is estimating 420 miles till empty. So it hasn't changed at all in terms of range estimation. Let's check out the electric mini. When we first started this video, it was predicting like over 80 miles of range. Now it's predicting 68. But that really is a guessometer because what happened is in the garage, it was about 25 degrees. Out here, it's negative three. So the computer recalculated. The number worth looking at is this one right here. Over the past hour and 10 minutes, even at negative three degrees Fahrenheit, we've only used 3% of the battery so it's not using a ton of electricity to keep the cabin nice and warm now here's a couple of things worth noting this mini cooper se has a really small battery like 32.6 kilowatt hours which is actually less than the 33 and a bit kilowatt hours that an equivalent gallon of gas has in terms of its potential energy so this car can go 114 miles according to the epa with essentially just under one gallon of gas so even though this is a small battery an hour and 10 minutes of sitting here in below zero temperatures it only used three percent to keep the cabin at 70 degrees with the heated seats going full blast. Well it's been well over two hours now these minis have been sitting here it's been super cold let's check out the gas and let's see how we're looking here still reading 420 miles of range still reading a full tank um, and it's saying the outside temperature is 
positive four degrees, so it's uh, still pretty cold out here. Now this Mini Cooper SE has a heat pump, which is a much more efficient way of heating a cabin than um, what a lot of EVs have, which is just a resistive heater. Now, an even better way to do this would have been to precondition the, the, the cabin, get it nice and warm using the Mini app when it's plugged into the wall. However, out here at the ranch, we don't have self-service, so that wasn't an option. So it is now 2.38 in the afternoon and we started this test at 11.47. So we're coming up on three hours in sub zero degree Fahrenheit weather. Let's see what the mini is reading the gasoline one. Still reading completely full, still showing 420 miles of range. Now I'm gonna shut this mini down and let's go see how the electric mini is doing. I think three hours is good enough at below zero temps for this test. That is quite the long traffic jam you might get stuck in or a road closure. Now this Mini, once again, we started with 100% state of charge. And once again, interior set to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We're only down to 89%. So we have dropped 11% state of charge and that's roughly three and a half kilowatt hours worth of energy or roughly 10% of the equivalent energy source in a gallon of gasoline. So what we're gonna do now is bring that GP inside and leave it parked until I can go drive to a gas station because I don't want to drive to a gas station on ultra high performance summer tires in snow because I'll crash and die. And then we'll cut back to this video and do the calculation at the end, see how much gas we used over the same amount of time. All right, well, it's finally warmed up, the snow has melted, so now I can safely drive the gasoline Mini Cooper to the gas station and find out how much gas we used. Now I'm going to subtract the amount of gas it took to drive to and from the gas station from the total amount, and luckily I can get that number pretty darn close because I'm very familiar with how much gas this car uses on a regular basis, and then I'm keeping track of the mileage to and fro, so we'll know just about how much gas it used sitting here idling, and we'll turn that into a percentage so we can compare gas to electric. All right, well, we made it to the Sinclair. Sinclair is the official fuel provider of TFL. And what we're gonna do now is fill up the Mini using our patented, okay, not actually patented, but our verified two-click method to see how much fuel we used during the test. Now, whatever the final number is, I'm going to subtract 0.06667 gallons, right around two thirds of a gallon, because um, based on my calculations, that's how much fuel we use getting to and from the station, back and from to the ranch. Um, and then we're going to see, I wait 30 seconds after the first click, we're gonna see the final tally when we get back and I'll do the math and we'll, we'll break it down for you. All right, so that was the final click. So in total, 1.260 gallons during this test. So what we're gonna do is take 1.260 and subtract 0 0.6667. And there you go, just over half a gallon used. Let's go ahead and do the math and see what percentage of the tank half a gallon is. So I've just done the math with the Mini Cooper gasoline model on how much gasoline fuel we used idling during the same period as the EV. And the number breakdown is actually pretty surprising. So we used just over half a gallon of gasoline sitting here idling for those several hours. Now that breaks down to 4.49% of the 13.2 gallon tank equipped in this car. So roughly four and a half percent of the energy available went into heating the cabin and keeping uh, the heated seats on and you know, that kind of thing versus 11% in the electric mini. So roughly twice as much energy was used gasoline to electric. Now here's the thing, if we take that 0.5 of a gallon of gas and multiply it by 33.7 kilowatt hours, which is the amount of electric energy equivalent in a gallon of gas, that means that the gasoline mini took 16.85 kilowatt hours, whereas the electric mini only used roughly three kilowatt hours or so. So pretty big discrepancy there, of course, due to the heat inefficiencies of a gasoline motor. Now here's the important takeaway, yes, the gasoline Mini used just 5% of its energy, whereas the electric Mini used 11% of its energy. But that electric Mini is one of the smallest batteries available today, just over 32 kilowatt hours. If you had like a Tesla, you would, you would, you know, you could be sitting there for a huge amount of time just running the heater because of the efficiency of electric architectures. So it was a very interesting video today. Um, if you are in an electric car, 
I wouldn't stress too much about getting stranded in traffic for several hours, um, even in really, really cold conditions, because as we proved, it's more than capable. And of course, gasoline cars, it definitely won the shootout today using only 5% of its energy versus 11% in the electric mini. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. This has been Tommy behind the camera, Cole, and the rest of the team. We'll see you in the next video.